Tonight, the call for action continues. Current and former Charlotte Mecklenburg students are demanding school district leaders do more when it comes to preventing and investigating sexual assaults on campus. Today's protest happened just hours after CMS's superintendent gave a vague outlook on what's being done. Dozens of protesters gathered with signs, stories, and demands in hand. There's a cultural shift happening. The latest protest, Saturday morning at Park Road Park. Former and current students supporting the victims at Hawthorne Academy, who say they were suspended after reporting their assaults. The group demanding less talk and more action from CMS leaders. It's frustrating that it took them five months, but it is something. Friday, Superintendent Ernest Winston announced the district would hire more Title IX investigators whose sole responsibility would be to investigate sex assaults, taking that responsibility away from school principals. That will create the level of consistency across the district. But he never said how many would be hired. I hope that they plan to hire a decent amount of people to handle that properly. For those who've suffered or support their classmates, they expect more from the district. I think that there has to be better education for students. I think that there has to be non-retaliation policies for students who protest and for students who report. Until then, they'll keep using their voices. It's not that we want to keep protesting. It's that we aren't being listened to and we're not going to go away. Right now, there's a petition with more than 14,000 signatures asking for an external investigation into CMS as a whole.